Alrighty, this will be a grooming video followed by a um, breathe right strip video for Mr. Dredger here, standing like a doofus. Um, so we will start with this. So I have this dental spray that I like to start off with that I'll spray on their teeth in the beginning to let it sit. For reference, Dredger is uh, almost eight months old. Not quite. All right, so I'll spray that first to let it sit before I'm gonna brush the teeth later. Um, and then I will clean the ears next. If you've been posting ears, you're used to cleaning ears. Um, if you haven't been posting ears, I just use a cotton swab and some cleaning solution and I just make sure to clean the whole ear into the base along the outside everything. I'll kind of try and show it here in a second. Hi, Dredger. I have one of those round cotton pads with cleaning solution on it. You can use those or square ones. Take my finger, put the cotton pad down, press into the ear. You're not gonna hurt them. Really get that ear clean. Fold it over, use the clean side, go back through it. Then I'll use a new one same cleaning solution and I'll make sure to get in between all the little creases in the ear in here and then I also make sure to clean up here if you've been posting ears or have breathe right strips on it's a good idea to use a um, adhesive remover to get those nice and clean so I like to do this in the beginning that way it'll give these ears plenty of time to dry before I mess with them again later If you want to, you can follow the wet ones up with a dry one, just kind of wipe out any moisture. I never use the same pad for both sides, just in case you do have an ear infection on one side, it won't spread to the other side as easy. Okay. Then what I will do next while that's drying is I always like to do toenails next. See if I can lower this enough to where you'll be able to see it. Alrighty. So I grab the foot like this. I have a Dremel Micro that I'm using. We also have a quarter one that I'll use every now and then. So I'll turn it on. I like to set it at level 20. You'll just go under the toenail. Kind of smooth that out. At least this is how I like to do it. Everybody does it different. And then I like to go along the sides. Kind of round it out until you have that little piece of the quick sticking out. I'm only going to do the one foot. I'll do the other ones later just for sake of time on the video. But then they'll look like this. I don't like my toenails super short as I like them to be able to use them if they need to. But that's plenty short enough for me. And I might go over it later and clean them up a little bit more. But So that's a done foot versus a not done foot. Um, for actual show day grooming, I will go up and clean the toenails themselves. So 
So you can just use a cotton pad and you can just wipe the toenail clean. It's gonna clean them, shine them up. Giving them a bath will clean them up a lot too, but this is, it'll shine them up a lot this way. You can also get some black show shine that you can put on your toenails or just some show shine. I like using those just to make them look really nice and, and classy. So that's how we do the toenails. And I'll go through and do all of the toenails. At least this is the process I like to do. I'm gonna move it back up here. So then what I like to do next is shaving the head. I'm gonna move this back a little bit here. All right, Mr. Dredge. So I actually have them charging over here and I will just switch. I have two of them, so I'll switch them out as I'm using one, especially since I forgot to charge them beforehand. So, I like to start by the eyes. You'll have the two little hairs, well, or however many it is, three, four, however many they have, but there's some hairs right above here that grow in kind of that tan spot. So I will take this and I will just go flush with, the, with his own hair and I will just shave those off. Make sure not to go too short because once you start shaving the hair themselves, you'll actually change the color and it'll mess with that. Then they normally have some little hairs up here and I'll just go along and clean, clean that up, okay? Then what I like to do is I like to come in here, make sure it's clean up here and shave these whiskers. This is his least favorite part. Stop. And clean up along the lip right here, lip line. And I'll do the same thing down here. Clean up along the lip line. Get those little hairs shaved. I do one side. And get it done. And then I go to the bottom. There's also little hairs down here that I like to get and over here. So don't forget those. Basically any whiskers, any black hairs on a, on a red dog you wanna take off, but any whiskers, no matter the color. On the Doberman, you wanna make sure you get all of those off. Ah, I had that too high. But. So, anything under here, you want to get off these back here and these under here. And then I'll go and I'll do the other side. I don't press the clippers. I don't press the clippers into his hair. I just run the clippers along the outside to take off those black hairs. Stop. Make sure you have both sides nice and clean. Don't have any whiskers sticking out anywhere. Nope. Whiskers is something I will touch up every day um, that of the show. So now, just to recap, we have gone through, we shaved the whiskers up here. We shaved the ones back here, shaved the ones under here, and then we cleaned up everything around the nose. Nice and clean. Give them a nice clean head. Now we'll do the ear. So on the ear, I like to start at the tip. And he still has some gunk on there, then this is why you want to use adhesive remover. And just work my way down. 
you're not posting ears, this won't be a problem. And I'll go through and clean those up with adhesive remover later. I just don't have it with me. But what I like to do is I like to follow the tan line and go all the way down that. That's where I like to shave. And then do the same thing on this side. Come down here, clean up everything. Make sure you clean up the outside edge. And now you have a nice, a nice clean Doberman ear. Let me turn this this way a little bit so I can show you again. So I follow the tan line on the edge here, over here to start, clean that all up. And then I go in the middle, I clean that all up. And then I like to do the outside edge. I go all the way, I go all the way around so I can get everything down here, really get it all nice and shaved clean. And then I'll do this, go in both directions, go that way, and then I'll go the other way, and that will clean up. My battery's turning it on, so I'm just And so then I'll go through and do the same thing on the other ear. I like to groom the ears whether they're showing or not, just because I think it looks nicer. So that will clean up the ears. So those are sh shaved nice and clean now. And the head's clean. So that's all the shaving I do on the head. Then I like to come back here to detail. Bye, nobody. Just tickle the tail up, depending on how comfortable your dog is with their tail being messed with. So you're just able to go under here. And shave up. Mm. Move this butt this way a little bit. Maybe I can show this a little bit better. But just hold it and get all that tan shaved underneath. I just follow the tan lines. And that's all I shave. And then just this little bit of floof back here. Just to clean that up. All the side, sides if you want. Dredger. Dredger, you moved. So then, you should have a nice, pretty clean tail, just like so. Now, while we're back here, <clears throat> try and move this back some. So I like to come in here and just clean up all around the testicles. get any hairs away. You have a female, obviously it's not as big of a deal. Then what I like to do next is you normally have some little hairs right here sticking out on the flank area. So what I like to do is I like just like to come in and lightly clean that up. 
You want to be careful so you don't leave any bald spots. That happens. So just like that. If they have a lot of hair down here, um, sometimes I'll come in and clean up down here. It just depends. Just go ahead and do that on both sides, all the way down. And that gives you a nice clean look there. So that part's done. So that is pretty much all the shaving I do. And then I do a little bit of thinning shear work, not a ton. Move this up just a little bit here so I can show you. I know. It's like, what in the world are you doing, Mom? <clears throat> so, Dobermans have, tend to have these little fluffs right here. So I like to take thinning shears. And I tend to do all this grooming before I bathe him, and then I'll go back over it after he's been bathed. So I like to come in here and kind of brush them with my fingers so that they stand up. And then just come in with the thinning shears and smooth that out so they don't stand up as bad. There's some up here too. That just kind of gives you a smoother neck once you've done that. And then the other spot I like to do is right here. They tend to get a little bit of a tuff of hair. Just be careful not to make a bald spot in your dog's chest. I'll go ahead and do the other side. So that pretty much takes care of that grooming. Now if your dog has any bald spots well, or any spots that really like hurt themselves or anything like that, I will get some chalk and color it in when we're showing. Some people also like to do eyeliners on red dogs to kind of color that pigment in if you need to. Right here, um, that is completely up to you. So then I will come back and brush his teeth. Now that I'm done with everything else. He doesn't have quite as much experience with getting his brushed teeth and teeth brushed as the other dogs just because he hasn't done any shows. So I've been slacking on this part a little bit. But we want nice clean teeth in front of judges. pretty much what I do for grooming. Nothing too crazy extensive. I don't like to change the dog themselves too much and the Dobermans, their short hair. Um, <clears throat> I will bathe him afterwards, after this, after doing all the toenails and everything. And then what I would do is come back, put him back on the table, give him another once over, make sure everything looks nice and clean. And then <clears throat> I will get some, I will chalk his nose hair some before going into the ring since he's a red and he has a little bit lighter color right there on the end of his nose, which is typical um, <clears throat> color in any other spots. And then I will spray, spray some shine spray on him just to kind of hold everything together. And that's pretty much everything I do. All right, thanks.